What's going on, fish heads? Jen Crevasse, Jekyll Bates. I'm finally back with a workshop update. Yep, it's been uh, almost four weeks. My apologies. You know what? I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. I went on vacation. I'm allowed to do that. But I do feel guilty because I've missed all you guys so much. So I know the first thing that I did when I came back was to put together a spray session for you guys. We're going to be talking a little bit about that today. I've got some other pieces to show you. I do have orders going out. Got to get caught up on all your orders. Thank you so much for your patience, but let's get right into it. We're going to start with these Allenker Red Discus. This is from the spray session the other day. This is on the holographic or pre-foiled dinger. You guys can see the shimmer underneath. And that's the reason that we kind of switched up a blue instead of doing it on the sides like this one we did the bottom and the top so you guys would be able to see that you know I'm gonna pull this I am I, I can't it's driving me crazy I'm gonna pull you guys off of okay so like this happened this broke just for no reason um, just been the kind of day this is like the fifth attempt I have doing this video this morning with you guys but hey it, you know so there we go that's a little bit better bring you guys into focus there is your holographic image underneath it's the foiled you guys can see this a little bit better right and then on the solid one i used that maui blue underneath and i really like i like the differences in both of these we'll bring this back in I don't have necessarily a favorite. Really kind of like, I, I like the blue vein in this version of it. I really do. So these are separate orders, but this one is part of the rest of another order that I'm getting ready to show you guys. I, it's been forever since I've done a Fat Papa, but I got an order for a Fat Papa and a thread fin. Um, one of the pieces in this order is going out to Oi. Thank you for your patience, Oi. Got just a little bit of silver uh, over top in the uh, scale pattern of that indigo blue. I did my um, shading on the gill plates in that black magenta, as did I with the pectoral fins. And then just a blend on the bottom. But there is your Fat Papa. It's real eyes on the side of it. And now we have a Japanese beetle. Glass eye. Actually, these are not glass. They're just the chrome. The solid chrome. Not the prism chrome. There is a difference. And this is also on that pre-foiled dinger wide lip square bill that i love to use so much thank you brian for continuing to put out a fantastic product brian over at dinger there you are go see him love the japanese beetle this is a bit of a twist on it uh if you guys are familiar with rose bushes at all and you live in the united states then you know what a nuisance japanese beetles can be but Japanese beetles also fall in the water from time to time and the bass will scoop them up. So this is that. Got that contrasty red over blue. I used a pearl red mixed with a transparent red just to get that extra glimmer shimmer on the, uh, on the top and the back of the bait. Also have a kaleidoscope so pretty i love the way purple goes into red especially if you're using a pearlized plum or a pearlized purple into that red and of course this is kbs two coats two coats folks and there is the bottom yes it looks 3d this is black though this is not the black magenta Red almost requires you to contrast it with black. It just seems to look sharper to me on that. So I will use black occasionally. I know I'm a big fan uh, and I talk it up all the time of, of Detail Black Magenta by Wicked. But uh, a lot of times when you have red, black just seems to contrast it in shading so well. It's just so cool. So there is that. 
Still one of my favorite patterns to date. You can get all of these on the website at www.jekyllbaits.com. Good shading. Love it. Last but not least, a pre-foil. Actually, this is not a pre-foil. This was a Jen Crevasse foil. Um, and I just happened to have some really cool, out-of-the-box, kind of random foil in the shop. So this is the uh, Ozark Goblin Craw. Love doing these and um, really cool thought on wanting it on a holographic because, wow, this thing really has a 3D texture to it now. Really enjoyed doing that particular style of foiling. I would definitely do it again. This type of foil is not, it would have to be a special order. Uh, and I have a little bit of it left, but I just really like the way this came out. You guys are all going to be asking where, where, where. So this is fingernail foil. I'm going to stop the video for just a second so you guys can see what it is. Give me two seconds. A few moments later. And like magic. This is what it comes in. I'm certain I got it off Amazon. If you guys are interested, leave me a comment in the description below and I will give you a link. It's going to take me a minute to dig for this particular link because I know that I got this in a set, but it is so flipping cool. Love this foil. Uh, it's a little tricky to put on. I, I use uh, like a, a waxy epoxy, not the... Uh, not that form but it comes in like a glue stick almost and you keep it real tacky and then just apply it and use um you can use a pen just to push it onto the bait a little bit let it dry for a few hours before you try and apply anything else but that really i'm just digging the way that turned out we'll show you this one more time really gives the bait a brand new type of texture structure and I, I did. I love the way this came out. So that is uh, kind of a tricked out Ozark Goblin Craw off of my website on steroids. Last but not least, Jen, thanks for the help with the regulator. Enclosed are some pieces of placemats that I found maybe some use in a project. If you look at the back of the small holes, they are much smaller. Thought that connecting two might be better. Hope they are some help. You may already have the same regards, Bill. This is Bill in Knoxville. Bill, thanks. I did not have these. Um, we're going to show our viewers what you sent. I always try and... This is cool in itself. I mean, this is... Where do you find kick-ass placemats like this? This is really great. So Bill in Knoxville sent me some really cool... And I've seen you guys use this on the Brotherhood page on Facebook. Um... I love it. This would, you know what? Uh, the first thought on the on the bigger part of this is dragon scale. Like that would make a killer dragon scale on a something that's not necessarily a bait, but those are really cool. Yeah, I'm definitely going to use them and I did not have them. So Bill and Knoxville, thank you so much for sending those. That was really yeah, I like this side better. Just like maybe cuz it's shiny and there you go. See? This almost screams fish scale anyways, but yeah, these are awesome. Thank you so much for passing these on to me. I do have an address if you guys are interested in sending me stuff to try out or use in a spray session. I'm going to try and get this in a spray session. There's no reason not to just play around with something and show you how I would apply it. I think we can probably make that happen soon. Maybe this weekend, maybe next weekend. We'll see what the schedule's like because I've got tons of orders to get through. But that's pretty much it, folks. Bill, thank you so, so much. I hope I've been able to teach you guys a little bit of something. Um, I will try and dig up that link if you guys are interested. So if you're interested in figuring out where I got this, I will find it for you guys. So leave me a comment if you want to know. You guys have a great, great, great day. Enjoy the rest of your week. I filmed this on Thursday. Hopefully, we'll get this up tonight. If not, it'll come out tomorrow. I've got a ton of other editing to do. I've got a ton of stuff. Stuff just catch up. So, it's great to be back in the saddle. Great to be back in the shop. Love you guys. Mean it. Happy casting from Jekyll Bates. <music>